Hi guys, it's Julianne and I'm an ECD HEB coach. In today's video, we're going to be making Japanese origami boats. The only materials you'll need to make these origami boats is a piece of paper, a container which we're going to fill up with water, and some pennies. First, you're going to fill your container up with some water. All right, now that we've filled up the container with water, we can get started on making our boats. All right, the first step to making your Japanese origami boats is to start with your paper vertical. So as you can see, we started with our paper this way, which is vertical. So what she's gonna do is first fold her paper in half. All right, now that we have our paper in half, the next step is you're gonna fold the two corners of the folded edge in toward the middle to form a point. All right, the next step is you're gonna fold the loose rectangular edge on the top side of the paper up over the flaps and then you're gonna fold it down. Then you're gonna turn your boat over. Next, you're gonna fold the other side over, the other flap. Now it should look kinda of like a hat. All right, the next step is you're gonna kinda of open your hat and fold it on top of each other. Put the creases on top. All right, the next step is you're gonna fold the lower triangle flap upward and onto the upper triangle. Then you're gonna turn it over and do it on the other side. The next step is you're gonna open the resulting square, putting the upper part on the lower. For the last step to get your boat, you're gonna take the two triangles and pull them apart to form the boat. This is what your boat should look like. All right, we have our two paper boats now, and now we're gonna see which one floats better. And then to add it a step further, we can add some pennies and see which boat holds more pennies. All right, now it's time to put our boats in the water and see how they float. Floating pretty good. All right, if we take a look at our boats, they've been in here for a few minutes. This one is floating pretty good, but some water's coming in and this one's kind of sinking. All right, we decided to put a new boat in because our boat's kind of sunk. So we're gonna put the pennies in this one and see how many we can put in without it sinking. So as you can see, it's floating pretty good, but give it a few minutes and it might sink, we'll have to see. All right, we're gonna start dropping some pennies in and see how many we can get in. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, starting to get lower, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, oh, it's really leaning on this side, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. All right, let's leave it at that for now. Let's just see what we have here. So there's, looks like a lot more on this side, but this side is kind of sinking over. So if we were to have two boats, we can then have a competition and see which boat holds more pennies. 